Hi, I'm Marnie and welcome to Exploring Colors. Today we're going to go from three dimensions to two dimensions and all the way back to three dimensions again in order to make the most amazing mobiles. So let's get started. You're probably wondering what three dimensions is. Well, let me tell you, three dimensions is an object that has height, width, and depth. If you went to a museum and you walked around a sculpture, that's three-dimensional. A ball is three-dimensional, right? If we looked at something like this, we could walk around it. Something that's two-dimensional is more like a drawing. It only has height and width. So we are going to go from three dimensions to two dimensions and then back to three dimensions again. So in order to start, we're gonna take our Exploring Colors box and we're gonna open it. We've used a bunch of things in our box already. I put all of the unused model magic that I used into a zip bag. So I'm gonna take that out because I may wanna use some of that today. And I designed two plates last week. I'm going to take them out because the back of the plates don't have anything on them. So I'm going to do that this week. And I'm going to take out my markers. And I'm going to take out some of my beaded pom-poms. I used some of them last week, but not all of them. And I'm going to take out my beads. I used some last week as well and my pipe cleaners, both the small and the large pipe cleaners, and we used these last week too. And I think that's it. So I'm gonna put the box away now. So we spoke about mobiles, because that is what we're gonna ultimately make. And you may be thinking that you're not really sure what a mobile is. A mobile is something that hangs, it's three-dimensional, and it blows in the wind. If there is wind, if you have it inside, sometimes when people walk by, the air kind of moves it. So we spoke about going from three dimensions first to two dimensions. So we're gonna take an object that is three-dimensional, height, width, and depth, and we're gonna draw it. So we're gonna turn it into a two-dimensional object. So I'm gonna start with my plate. I designed one side, the other side is still plain, and I made wonderful bracelets last week. I think you guys did too, but if you don't have your bracelets, if you gave them away, you could take any object that's three-dimensional. It could be, um, you know, I have my plate of some of the Model Magic balls, you could do that. You could take your necklace, your bracelet, your keychain from last week, and I'm gonna take my markers out. And I'm gonna try to copy some of the patterns, some of the three-dimensional, um, from my three-dimensional bracelet, but I'm gonna copy some of the color patterns and the shapes. And it's a really fun exercise to go from something that does have three dimensions like this to two dimensions. So I see here, red, white, red, white, red. So I'm gonna to try to copy that on the back of my plate. And maybe I'll do it here. Red, and I'm gonna make my circle, it's kind of like an oval circle, um, similar to what the bead looks like. And I'm gonna leave a spot for the white because I'm gonna use my black marker to outline that. So three red beads, and I have one, two, three. Okay, click. We all know we're very good now at like shutting our markers. We've been practicing, right? So I'm gonna do an outline for the white bead because my plate is white and the bead is white. And if I don't mark it with an outline, then it's gonna be hard to see. Okay, then the next colors are orange, yellow, green. Orange, yellow, green. So I'm gonna try to copy that. And it's going to be a flat version of my bracelet. Orange. Whoops. <laughs> so 
sometimes it slips. My, my table is very slippery. Yellow. Click. And green. And we know green is a secondary color and so is orange, right? But red and yellow are primaries. We learned that in our first class. Okay, so the next colors are dark pink, light pink, white. Dark pink, light pink, white. Now, I don't have dark pink and light pink markers. So I'm going to make up another, I could, I can do that, right? Sure, I can make up another pattern. I do have purple and blue, which the purple's a little darker than the blue, so I'm going to use that instead. Sometimes you have to get creative. And we're in an art class, so we're going to practice that a lot. Okay, so purple, blue, and then white. And the last time we did white, we did a black outline, right? So I'm going to do that again. And then I'm going to repeat it because that's what we do with patterns, right? So you can see that we build upon everything we learned last week. And uh, we just keep going with it. And art is fun that way because once you learn how to do something, uh, you can incorporate it into your next projects. Okay, and then I have like this squiggly line, like this is the clasp. You would call it a clasp in jewelry making. So I'm gonna draw that with my yellow marker. A big loop and then an end here. And if I want to, I can make up my own pattern on the other side or I could flip it. I could do the red and then this whole pattern on this side if I wanted to. Um, it's up to you, you can decide. Or you can take a different bracelet that you made last week. Like I have this one, which is yellow, orange, green, yellow, orange, green, and a big pom-pom. So maybe I'll do that instead. I'll do yellow, orange, green. So this is like a flattened version of my bracelet, right? Kind of a both of my bracelets put together. <laughs> and if I was a jewelry designer, maybe I would draw it first. That would be two dimensional to three dimensional. Okay. Oops, I made a mistake. Ha! <laughs> Even grown-ups make mistakes. I'm just noticing I wanted to put the yellow there, but I put an orange. So what do you do if you make a mistake? Mistakes in art are not really mistakes. And in fact, if you do that, you're kind of lucky because then you have to figure out a solution. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do yellow, orange, green, orange, yellow. I'm going to kind of flip it like a mirror image. So now the yellows are on the end, then the two oranges, then the green in the middle. I used to always tell the students in my class, if you make a mistake, you're lucky because you are the lucky one that gets to figure out what to do. Um, okay, so now we have a big pom-pom and it's pink and I don't have a pink marker, so I'm going to do a big red circle. Here we go. <laughs> it's kind of a funny circle. Okay, now I have um, orange, green, and a big white pom-pom. So I will do that. Orange, green. What are you guys doing? Are you drawing a bracelet or are you drawing something else? You could draw something else two that's three-dimensional okay so aren't and a big white pom-pom so I'm gonna do a big outline and then another orange and green and I'm almost at the end okay and if I wanted to do something in the center could I sure um, maybe I will do a big star and you can really do anything you want. And 
and maybe I will give it polka dots on the inside. Because now that I practice going 3D to 2D, I can decorate the rest of the plate if I want to. Maybe I'll do a big line around and a line going back. And on this side, I'll do the same thing. So now this side is decorated and this side is decorated. Now I have to grab my other plate and we want to take something that's three dimensional and put it on here too. Now if I wanted to take some of the balls that I made in beads from last time, I could. I could draw them instead of my bracelets if I wanted to. You can do anything that's three dimensional. But these are things that I have here. So I'm going to do the blue ball and it's like a flat circle now. And the orange one. Now I left these out so they dried. And then I have a red bead with white lines around it. So I'm going to need to use my black again for the outline. You don't have to use black. I kind of like using black as the outline for white. Alrighty. So now we have, can show you, I have these three beads and I have my drawing, which I went from three dimensions to two dimensions. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, we could decorate it a little bit more. Let's see, we didn't use any yellow. So what if I make a yellow background? Now, do you guys ever try to color one color over another color and sometimes it becomes a third color? I'm not going to do that with these markers right now because I like to keep the yellow um, not getting, you know, kind of mucky. And sometimes when, like if the yellow went into the blue, then the marker pad on the top of the marker would be kind of like blue and it wouldn't be pure yellow anymore. So that's why I'm not doing it. But this is like a really cool abstract design now. Okay. So what we're going to do, we can do a little bit more design if you want. You are the designer. You get to decide. Like after we drew something, then I'm okay if you guys just design it any way you want afterwards. It's kind of like a solar system. Okay, so now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to decide which one I want. Like if we made a mobile, what's going to happen is we're going to decide which plate we want to be the top of the mobile. And I think I would like this one to be the top of the mobile. So you're going to ask your grown up to fold. You're going to decide which side you want on the outside and which one you want on the bottom. And I like the flower on the bottom because then if I hang it really high, I get to look at it. So you're going to ask your grown-up to help you cut, bend your plate in half and cut a little triangle in the middle. Okay, I can see you. And we're going to take one of the tall pipe cleaners. Now I had a lot more, but I used a whole bunch. And we're going to remember how we made a twisty tie. We bent it over and we twist it. Well, we're going to do that again. And then we're also going to do it again on this side. But first, what we're going to do is put some beads on. Now, I have um, this cool bead that's made out of Model Magic that I didn't use last time. And it got really hard now, so I can use it. And I can open up some of these beads. And I'm going to put them on my plate for the moment. And I can use most of them today. So this will be fun. 
Now, if you wanted to open up one of your bracelets from last week to use on the mobile, you could do that as well. But you may or may not want to do that. I want to save one pom-pom for next week. So I'm going to decide which color. I think I'm going to save an orange for next week. So I'm going to leave that in the bag and put that back into my box so I have it for next week. But I'm going to put it over here for the moment. Okay, and I have these that I made, these purple beads from last week too. So remember we spoke about patterns, right? We spoke about how to make patterns. So I'm gonna try a white, light pink. So many choices here. And whatever you decide to do, I'm sure is gonna be beautiful too. And maybe a red pom-pom, because -pom, I like to mix the pom-poms with the beads. And I'm going to try, let's see if this works. Yes. And a yellow and a light green and a dark green and a yellow and a light green and a dark green. I made a pattern again. And let's see if I can do maybe a black pom-pom. That's an unusual color for pom-pom here. And when you have about two inches, about that much left, it's about two and a half inches, you're gonna bend it over again. You're gonna make a loop and you're gonna twist it. So now this is the top of my mobile and we can hang things off of it. So this is gonna be really fun. And if you look at the underside, it's also decorated. So now we can have different things that are strong. We're gonna do the stringing first. And if you wanna, remember we spoke about if you wanna open up any of your, um, your bracelets or your keychains from last week and put them on your mobile, you can. You don't have to though. I made so many bracelets that I'm gonna do that. Because it's kind of fun to try to make something one way and then change it into something else. I really like doing that. Okay, I tied it so tight that it's hard to get off, but let's see if I can. Huh, <laughs> today is my day for really trying really hard. I can always cut it if I need to. You can have your grown up help you. Okay. So now um, I can, if I want to, I can attach it to this and then bend it over and twist it really well again. So it's becoming long, right? <laughs> this is great. And I can hang this on a hook on the ceiling. But I want to do a few different things now. I'm going to, I think, attach, since this is hanging off of this loop, and I have little pipe cleaners too. We can make more loops with the little pipe cleaners. Let's open that up too. There is no right way to do this. You guys are gonna just become the designers and decide what you wanna do, but I think I'm gonna add a little loop here and maybe a pom-pom. I love these bead pom-poms. I think they're really fun to play with. And then if I make a loop here, I'm gonna have to twist it back over itself. It's almost like a little mini ring. And then I'm gonna do some more, um, some more beading, but I have a choice here. I can either loop it into this and bend it back and then bead from here, or I could just make it like a bracelet and bead it and then use one of my little twisties to attach it. So you decide which is easiest for you. So I'm gonna do red, white, pink, blue. It's a very unusual pattern. Okay, red, white, pink, and blue. Okay, so now I'm gonna use one of my Model Magic beads. Now, if you have extra Model Magic, which I have a lot, 
um, you can take it and you can make a bead right now if you want it. So I have this Model Magic that's still very, very soft because I left it in my zip bag and I closed it. So maybe I'll make, let's see, I could make like a flower bead if I wanted to, right? I could make a circle. And one thing is giving me a good idea for the next thing. And I could make petals. I'm gonna make like a little snake and then fold it over. And then I'm gonna make another little snake and fold it over and attach it. And then maybe I'll make another one. So all my petals are gonna be lots of crazy colors which I think is fun. It's an imaginary flower. But you don't have to make a flower if you don't want to. You can make whatever you want to make. And I can't wait to see it. And bend it over. Now the good news is with all these big loops, I'm going to pick a big one, a, a thick one, and I'm going to beat it on. And then I'm going to turn it back and I'm going to twist. So now I have this cool like flower hanging off. Now let's see if I take a little pipe cleaner and I go into the hole because I want the flower to hang down. Oh, did I lose part of my flower? I think I did. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I think it had another petal, but we'll just add another one on. Okay, so now I can decide where I want to put it. Do I want to put it down here, make it really tall? Do I want to go back into one of these loops? I think that's what I want to do. And then I'm going to twist this. And you can either twist it like that, or you could go back around the pipe cleaner. But you have to bend it well. This is getting very decorative, right? Okay, so I'm going to put it down, maybe over here. Now, I have these little balls that I had made last week, and they hardened. And I'm going to see with my pipe cleaner if I can go through. They're a little hard, but they're, yeah, I think this one is too hard. I'm not going to be able to, but I could make a new one. And sometimes if you leave it out, they're not too hard. But if they are, I would say just make a new one. Okay, so... I'm going to make a hole. Remember last time we went all the way through to make a hole? Because this is like a regular bead. It doesn't, it's not like the flower with big loops. Okay, so now I'm going to make another loop. And I'm going to put this through. And I'm going to use my pom-poms. Now I'm going to make a crazy pattern where I'm not going to worry about um, a set pattern. I'm going to just have fun and put on whatever um, beads I pick up. And have you guys ever seen patchwork quilts? Sometimes there's something called a crazy quilt. And it's all different colors and all different patterns and that's what this one is going to be like and that's fun to make too maybe i'll do two oranges together okay now i used a lot of the beads and i'm going to let's see i have this other plate that I'm going to put them on. Maybe you have a plate at home because we're going to do something with this plate that we decorated now. What would happen if we cut up the plate and we hung it on the mobile? Let's see. I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to also cut around the side. So now there are two different designs on either side. Maybe I'll keep this one the way it is. And you're going to decide where you want to hang it from. Like maybe I'll hang this one from here. 
So I need a little hole at the top. So I'm gonna bend it over and you can have your grown up help you if it's hard. I'm gonna make a little diamond shape or a little triangle on the fold. And when I open it up, I have a hole and I can use one of my little pipe cleaners or a big pipe cleaner. And I can use a bead if I want to. And I'm going to go through one of the holes on my mobile. There was an artist named Alexander Calder who loved to make mobiles with shapes and colors. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Look what happened. Okay. I guess it wasn't dry enough to hold it that way. But that's okay. This is our day for mistakes where we're learning lots of things and what we have to fix, right? So I may need another little, I'm gonna use a little pipe cleaner to put this on. And I guess I can't hold it up too high until this dries. That's what it's telling me, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it as I have it up. I think what I need to do is put maybe one more string because this is getting kind of heavy on this side for these now this if i want to string it i need a hole so i'm going to have to bend it and i'm going to make it like a rainbow and i'm going to cut a little hole on the fold and i have another little pipe cleaner and i'm going to bend it over like this and I would like to let's see maybe this one I'll bend it in this way and cut a hole in the middle I'm kind of figuring this out as I go art is really fun that way sometimes we do that and I'm gonna put uh, let's see maybe what we'll do we have this this one, right? We could uh, maybe put this on and twist it. And I know you're probably working really hard on yours right now too. And should we hang this one off of this? Maybe, that might be kind of fun, right? And maybe I'll put some beads on it too. Okay three beads and I'm going to go through here and twist it because what you have to do is oops make a knot or twist it and this one I'm not going to use three beads I think I'll just use two and this one I have to turn back let's see now we have to figure out where we're going to put this maybe I'll put it Hmm, up here, let's try. And the little pipe cleaners are really great to help connect different parts. And this fell off, so I'm gonna put this on with maybe some beads. And if I have leftover beads, that's okay. So let's see what happens. And if it falls apart, don't worry about it. That means that you're gutsy and that you're trying new things. And if it always like works the first time, usually you're not trying anything that you didn't already know how to do, right? So here's my mobile. Now here's the cool thing with these pipe cleaners, you can bend them so that you can have funny shapes on your mobile. And once we hang it up, like if I wanted to, I could put another pipe cleaner or a string and I could hang it up on a, on maybe a light fixture, or I could ask my parents where it was okay for me to hang it, maybe in the garage or in your room or in the kitchen, and I can make a hook to hang it. But you can bend a lot of these too to make it kind of move in different ways. And then as the wind, let's say it was outside, the wind might blow it a little bit, um, but it's really colorful and the bottom of the plate is even colorful. 
So this was really fun today and I enjoyed creating with you and I can't wait to create with you soon. And please take photos of your mobiles, maybe hang them up or hold them up and take a photo and tag Exploring Colors because we all really want to see the different creations. And I can't wait to explore with you next week and we have a really fun project. See you then.